To Stu Allen or MC to do the fight announcements here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is three former drivers in a feather weight division. First of all, let me introduce your fighter in the blue corner. A Cabrera fighter, he stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 65 kilograms. Brings with him a record of one day, two deep feet and one draw. White side of Shooters MMA in Bandy is Ben. Seven inches tall, big at 64 kilograms. Brings with a record of one win and no losses. Fight side of the Dinky Dinky United in Babylon represents the Dinky Ninja Fight Team. Is Andy Cairns! Very, very talented, both looking like cavemen. Andrew Cairns in the black trunks, Darren Kinlock in the grey trunks and the blue anklets. Nice inside leg kick. Both trying to find their range. Almost. Another nice low kick. Yeah, we've got a fire in our hands here. Yeah, both guys throwing some real nice slurps, slipping some shots as well. Flying, Flying knee attempt from Kinlock. I think it looked better than it actually caused any oh, damage. Oh, good, good hands. Nice hands from Kinlock. Yeah, Kinlock's unloading now. He's, he's yeah. got him on the run. Oh, good stuff. He's got Andrew Kens hurt, I think. Well, that's always a desperate move, isn't it? Trying to pull guard from that situation. Yeah, it's not often you see a guy running across the cage there. Andrew Cairns just trying to get out of the way of the shots. Get himself into a better position to attack Kinlock. I think he kind of went for a jumping, trying to guillotine on the way down there, wasn't he, when he pulled guard, but it didn't come off and almost looked as if he lazily pulled guard. I don't think he really did. Kinlock has been caught before on the floor, but you're talking against very, very high-level guys. Another dinky ninja, Andy Burns who's a purple belt at very, very young age. Submitted him, but that, that's absolutely nothing to be ashamed of. Andrew Cairns out of a different branch of the D unit to Andy Burns. He's coming from the D unit branch in Dumbarton. Kinlock of Shooters, another very good team who always put in very well rounded guys, has progressed into side control here. He's keeping his hips very low. Kenz has got the right arm of Kinlock locked though in, a leg lock, uh, in between his legs, which is making it difficult for Kinlock to maintain the position or do any damage. It's more just kind of awkward than anything yeah. there, isn't it? It's yeah, there's not a lot you can do really when you're trying to control a head with one arm, you can't do any damage with the other one. And it's still the situation that he can't really use that right arm very much, but it looks like he might be able to pull it free now and he has done. Yeah, I think Cairns more just trying to make things awkward for Kinlock there than anything else. That looks suspiciously like an elbow to me, but the referee seems happy enough. Elbows, of course, not allowed under the unified amateur rules, which this fight is being fought under. It's a tough one, because I don't think there's anything against, like, forearm smashes as such, whereas, it's, you know, when does an elbow become a forearm? And yeah, it's all down to the referee's call, that isn't it, but you know, Cairns it's so risky because you could, loo you could lose a fight on a, on a disqualification call. This looks like quite a bad position for Cairns if Kinlock can, can get his head free here. He's, he's pretty much given up his back or certainly side control. Very strange position to be in. You don't see this often. It's like a sort of... Uh, I was just going to say you'd expect Kinlock to do something with it and he has done now. And he's he taken the full mount. Landing some good shots on Cairns here. Keeping very active, and there you go. He's unleashing everything he's got he here. He needs to fight back. Cairns needs to fight back. Bad the position for Cairns. Referee hovering over it. Dean Weir looking at this, but, but Cairns is still in this one. Every guy from the D unit always brings a lot of fight to the table. They don't breed quitters down there at John Nicholson's gym. Kinlock takes the full mount again, and he's going to range up and do exactly what he did a minute ago. Now he can take the back. Can he sink in the rear naked choke here? It looks like he might have it. I don't know if it's on the chin or if it's on the neck. Awkward angle now for Kinlock to try and finish this. Can't see him managing to get it there unless he's got a tremendous amount of power. Yeah, good stuff from the D-unit fighter. He's now on top position. Yeah, and Kenz is going to survive this first round and in fact he's going to finish it quite strongly. Yeah, good shot there. And a head kick attempt as well.
Darren Kinlock takes the upper hand in the battle of the Beards. But Cairns come on strong at the end of the round there, Steph. Yeah, he did just enough just to kind of let Kinlock know he's in a fight. And to let the judges know that the, and the referee know that there was, there was no danger of that being stopped there. I mean, the ref kind of had a look at one point when the ground and pound was coming in. It's always good to see that there's obviously the correct decision was taken. Cairns came back strongly. He's got his wits about him. Absolutely. I think Kinlock got an awful lot of shots, but I don't think many of them landed clean. I think it was glancing blows and gloves on, eh, shots onto the gloves rather than, than connecting with face and tissue there. Good performance here from Kinlock. He looks a lot better here than I've seen him in the past. Not to, to say he hasn't looked good in the past, but, but this is one of his strongest performances, certainly. Dundee versus Dumbarton. Who's going to come out on top? Second round about got underway. I can't believe how similar looking these guys are. It's remarkable, <laughs> it really is. I think I'd probably give Cairns just the edge in the Battle of the Beards. Good and he's got, job, a he's got a tattoo as well, which I know you're a big fan of. I do like tattoos. Oh, oh good big knee. knee! Real good knee. Kinlock landing a knee just to clear things up. Kinlock is in the grey trunks. Andy Cairns is in the shorter black trunks. What's really impressive about Kinlock is he, he's not really throwing single shots. It's, it's combinations. That's a big swing. It's, it's combinations from Kinlock. It's, he's not just trying to hit you and then get out of there. He's really trying to put something on the end that will hurt you, whether it's a low kick, whether it's a big knee. And he finds himself in top position here. And this is the position that Kinlock was in in the first round and he found himself with some great success in the ground and pound stake. So let's see how he gets on now. If he can just free that right arm, range up. Kieran's this, he's going to get out of And he's got it. What a wow, victory. Wow, that was... An, well, he must have... He tapped within a split second there. He obviously realised it was on and his arm was going to go. Out of absolutely nowhere. Yeah, what a great what a great finish that was there by Andy Cairns. A guy who, who in the first round... Didn't take a pasting by any means, but was certainly losing the fight, and then all of a sudden, split second, fight over. Well, that's right, you know, the fight looks like it's going one way, and before you know it, things change so quickly. Over to Stu Allen, our MC. Beautiful stuff there from Andrew Cairns. Really impressive display. Well done to the D unit fighter for that swift armbar to finish the fight. And there's the Battle of the Beards getting the photograph taken together. Mirror image of one another. Good stuff from Kinlock again as well. Great performance the first round from him.